I'm Dr. Jeffrey Rosenthal. We're in my office in Fairfield, Connecticut, and I have this uh, lovely young woman who we're looking at her face to evaluate <laughs> and decide what is optimal for her. She already has a, a lovely face, but we want to just subtly improve different areas of the face by contouring the cheek area and eventually perhaps uh, lifting the jaw, which will help the neck. So what we're doing is we're looking at the difference in the cheeks and we notice uh, that this side is a fuller, rounder area and the cheekbone is higher on one side than the other. You have to remember that everyone's face is asymmetrical, everyone in the world, and so if you draw a line right down the middle, the right cheek is always going to be different than the left cheek and the orbits are going to be different. So the object is to evaluate the face very carefully and to decide what is optimal for each patient not to overdo the cheeks. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some filler in this area of the cheek on both sides and we're using two different products. One is Radius, which is just calcium. Think of a structure, pillar, and it's going to be placed <clears throat> along the bone itself to give volume and shape and contour, which will lift the overlying tissues up. On top of that, right under the skin, we're going to be using a product called RHA, which is a hyaluronic acid, and hyaluronic acid is found in our skin. And what this will do is it will reshape some of the more superficial tissue, give a nice balance, and it will also, both these products will improve the skin quality over time. These are all going to be done through tiny little pin sticks in the face, and eventually we will be putting something in the back of the jaw, the back two-thirds, to build up the jaw mass. Everyone loses jaw structure, especially women, because they start out with less jaw bone, and as they age, they lose calcium, and the back of the jaw shrinks. As it shrinks down, the support of the overlying muscle and skin is no longer there, and things start to sag. So when tissues are placed in the jaw bone to lift it up, the same products, again, hyaluronic acid and the RHA3 hyaluronic acid tissues, they will lift and support this area, and by doing that, the jawline would become significantly better. This is all done in the office, if there are local procedures, under uh, just some local anesthetic, which I mix together, and it's injected, there's minimal discomfort, and the downtime is nothing. But, so, doctor, I'm sorry, here we go. I have keloid skin. Is that a concern? So anytime you work on any dark or pigmented tissues, you always have to be concerned with not the keloid so much, but the pigmentation change from the little pinsicles. Okay. And so there's different pigment in your face everywhere. And so you can get lighter or darker shades from the little pinsicles, although they're very, very tiny, you can get that. To get keloids from the little pinsticks would be not common. Um, but it, anything is possible, and these are complications that must be addressed, and the patients have to say, is it a big risk or isn't? Any procedure that has a big risk, I don't do. So we have to be safe for the patients. This is cosmetic, this is upkeep, this is making someone look better, obviously never making someone look worse. And so I have to judge for the patient and for myself, is it worth it for both of us to do a procedure that will make them better, but risk? If it's risk high, we don't do the procedure. Well, I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Thank well, you. We're going to uh, go in the back and we're going to do the procedures. Again, Dr. Jeffrey Rosenthal. If you want to look at my website, it's www.jeffreyrosenthalmd.com. Thank you. Front. This is, uh, this is my endolith laser over here. This is a unique laser from Italy that with a microfiber, I place it through little pinstick holes and I can tighten the underlying skin, stimulate collagen in your face, neck, jaw, liquefy some fat and support the whole tissue. And then I use tiny little threads through the same little pinstick so I can lift up the tissues and it's all done under local anesthesia, very minimal discomfort. And within a day or two, you start looking great and it stimulates your collagen in your face for uh, one to two years. It's an amazing procedure. That's the end of lift laser. These are some of the fillers that we're using. This is a hyaluronic acid. This is RHA, it's from Switzerland. And the unique part of this hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acids are found in our skin itself. And they hold water and they plump and they give contour. 
This particular one from Switzerland has elastic properties. So unlike products that you put in the face that when you smile, it doesn't move, this moves with your face. And this is the smoothing part under the skin that I'm going to use. Over here we have another product. This is called Radius. And Radius is basically calcium. It's white, it's calcium. And I mix it with a numbing medicine so that when I inject it along the bone, along the bone over here, it's structural. It will lift and contour and support the underlying tissues. And on top of that, I will place the hyaluronic acid. And I imagine this as sort of like lifting a pillar or, or think of a, a cake. And when you put a cake, it's very uneven. So that's placed deep down. And on top of the cake, you put this, which is sort of like icing to smooth and sculpt. And it's all done through these blunt needles. And this is the local anesthetic that we're going to use, although there's very minimal discomfort from this whole procedure. It's done. Here. And it's all natural. It's all natural procedure. This is just calcium, pure calcium. It doesn't come from an animal, it doesn't come from a human. And this is a synthesized hyaluronic acid similar to what's found in our skin. It's, they're both very compatible with our tissues. Uh, these are injected in joints. They're injected everywhere in the body. Um, and this product also is a very compatible tissue. I will put it in the back of hands to hide some of the lines and wrinkles and blood vessels. We put it in the jawline. Again, you have to know where you're placing all products. So if you place it too superficially, you get lumps. If you're placing it very deeply along the bone or in the hollows, it smooths, contours, and lifts. So the object of everything I do is to know the product, know what it will do, and then have the expertise, both in my hands and my eye as an artist, to sculpt a face or body. All that's, right. That's essential. Let's do it. So doctor, is this gonna hurt? Very minimal discomfort for all the patients because of how I put a topical gel in first, and then I'm going to make tiny little injections with a numbing medicine we're going to give you some balls to squeeze to this, you know, so you don't remember. I get to squeeze balls. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to go over how you breathe. So I'm going okay. to have you breathe slowly. You're going to count to three as you inhale, one, two, three to yourself, and four, three, two, one as you exhale. All right, friends. If, well, if you make the brain think of other things, it can't think of anything twice at the same time. So we, we have to make the brain not focus on what I'm doing, and by squeezing the balls gently, by breathing, everyone is perfectly fine. Got it. All right, friends, I'm going to do it. And like he said, this is all natural. So wait for the result. So what we're doing is we're just starting the preliminary marks to outline the areas that we will inject. I draw a topographical map. And what we're doing is we're going underneath this little mound of fat over here, which has lymphatics. We're going to stay away from that. And now we're going to draw a line across here and one coming here and the peak of the cheek is not in the front but the peak of the cheek is right about over here so that's the area that we're going to focus on in this direction so we're going to fill up here and we're going to fill up over here and then we're going to balance it by filling some of the arch itself and we're going to do the same on the other side again both sides are different this cheek is higher so we're going to draw a line here and down there and we're going to just come across right in here fill that and if you look at the cheek it, it has a nice contour coming up like a V almost coming down over here and that's where we're going to fill the peak and then we're going to balance the cheeks just gently thank you and now we're using a, a tiny 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 little needle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch the cheek up and you're going to take a nice deep slow breath and you're going to feel a little pinch stick and now you're going to feel a little pressure as I'm putting some of this numbing under the skin. So we're going to do that and I'm going to do it again. Good. I'm going to pinch your cheek over here, deep breath, little pinch stick. Beautiful. Very nice. And just turn your head just a little bit more. And now we're going to just make it numb on the back of the cheek area so we're comfortable. And when I start doing the filler, 
there's very little discomfort. So that's that's one half. Thank you. We're about to do some reshaping of the cheek areas to just highlight the cheeks and balance the overall face to make it balanced and harmonious so that everything blends together. And that's the key, the blending and the sculpting of the face. We're using a radius product, which is just pure calcium. I've already marked the areas where I'm going to inject. We've put some gel on top before that to make it numb. And then I've re-prepped or washed the area with a product that will take away some of the bacteria to make it as clean as we can. So this is a, a very, very tiny needle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch up the tissues and you're going to take a nice slow deep breath from me and you're going to feel a little pin stick. Pin stick. There you go. And now I'm going to just press some of this product in. And we're going to do that again. I'm going to lift up the tissue off the bone and we're going to go down to the bone itself. And we're going to inject just a little bit of this radius right on top of the bone itself. And I'm going to gently withdraw it. And we're going to just march up the bone and continue to sculpt it. A little pin stick. tissue off the bone so I'm not going through it. We're going down to the bone itself again and we're on top of the bone where there should be no blood vessels and it's a very safe place to place the needle and now we're going to take this out and I'm going to gently mold the tissues but I've just put some radius under and I'm going to start to sculpt it with my hands as opposed to just injecting it and I'm actually molding it along the bone and blending it in with the underlying tissue so it's very natural and just gives a nice beautiful contour and lift which will help to define the cheek area and lift up some of the droopy tissue along this fold and even give a little support to the cheek. And we will be doing that on this area. We will turn the head, do it on the other side, and then we will use some hyaluronic acid in a different level under the skin to finish the sculpting. Thank you. Good. And we've just placed radius as a deep sculpting material to lift up the underlying tissues, support the lost bone volume. And now we're using a hyaluronic acid from Switzerland that has elastic properties called RHA3. And using a blunt needle or cannula, we're placing it beneath the tissues of the face. And we're gently going to just start to fill different areas with tiny, tiny little bits of this product. Just to contour and support the cheeks a little bit better. We're going all the way up along the cheek support and sculpt the whole face and there's very little discomfort and that is the blunt cannula it's not sharp so it's not cutting anything and we now already have a nice cheek sweep from the combination of the radius and the hyaluronic acids thank you so I've already placed the radius along the bone the malar bone and along the arch to support this region and through tiny little pin sticks we built up areas of the front of the malar and given a little bit more definition to the arch itself and when I do each stage I will sit you up lie you down and remark you so we've been we've injected everything and now what I'm doing is I actually mold the tissues with my hands I sculpt it I'm just not putting it in the face 
I want it to be placed and shaped just the way I want, as if I'm molding a big 30 pound clay mass, which I do with my hands, or sculpting stone, metal, or copper. The human body has to be molded and shaped the same way. It's a very gentle procedure, it's not painful, it's deep pressure, just like getting a nice massage. And we're molding it, reshaping it, and supporting it. And we're going away from the fold and moving everything in an upward and backward position so as to balance the face and give a nice upward sweep of the cheeks. And you can see that we have that now. Thank you. So we've already placed the radius along the bone of the cheek and the arch. We've recontoured above that with the hyaluronic acid. And now I'm sculpting again with arnica gel. And we're just supporting the tissues and I'm deeply molding the radius as well as the hyaluronic acid along the cheek mass all the way back into the arch to give a really nice natural contour. Everything is supposed to be balanced and natural, not symmetrical because symmetry of the face doesn't make you look like yourself. But balance, so one cheek gets higher, make it a little bit more balanced. The lower cheek, the look a little bit more. So all we're doing is sculpting the face with different products, and now I'm actually molding them to finish everything up. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Jeffrey Rosenthal, and we're in my Fairfield office. I'm a plastic surgeon, and we've just finished sculpting this lovely young woman's face. Uh, we were able to support the cheeks by giving a nice sweep going upward, fill the hollows in the front of the cheek, and the face, remember, is asymmetrical. One side is lower or higher. Everyone has one bone higher and one bone lower. The object is not to make perfect symmetry, but to balance. And through little tiny pin sticks, which you can barely even see now, uh, I was able to fill the deeper layer with radius and sculpt the top layers with hyaluronic acid to give a nice upward sweep, which now opens the face. So instead of being oval, now the youthful face is a rectangular look or triangular rather, going this way. The triangle, the width that narrows down as opposed to as we age, the triangle reverses. So this is a very nice, natural and rejuvenated look. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>